Bye, Daphne, honey. You drive safe. Yeah, don't take no wooden nickels. Hey, and I'm your date for the CMAs. Hey, and tell Grants I got a big surprise coming for in the... You got Grants a surprise? That's real sweet. Yeah, present. I'm glad Daphne's gonna stop and see her on her way to Nashville. God, ain't it something? I mean, just look at Daphne. Off to Nashville, make records? Who'd have thought she'd get a record contract for writing that ketchup jingle? Well, you helped inspire her. I guess dreams do come true. That's what I'm counting on. Guess it's just the two of us now, buddy. Unless you find yourself a chicken truck home. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. No, Lynette, you're just stuck with me now. Oh, I like being stuck with you, Elvin. Come on, let's go inside. She is such a fan. She'd love it. Borrowed? And uh, when exactly were you planning on giving it back? After she dies. You were on? Oh. The man says he has called three times. Now, when did you borrow this hood ornament? The day I saw him at the feed bag. Dang, that was weeks ago. <sighs> wait a minute, wait. You couldn't have borrowed anything. You was with Daphne. Now that ain't exactly true, Lynette. What's not true, Elvin? Look, after we ate, Daphne wanted to go shopping at this little boutique next door. And I didn't want to go in there, so I waited outside and I got tired of waiting. Oh my gosh, you left you alone. <laughs> Daphne and a 50% off sale, you do the cipher, Lynette. Anyway, Gilliam come out of the feed bag, I followed him. Don't answer. Yep. 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 Lynette, yep. ow! Well, put it on speaker. Put it on okay, speaker. okay. Ouch. Hello? Would you like to take a personality test for us? Hell no. Well, please don't say no. You don't understand. It'll change your career, your life. Please. Look, if I wanted to join a religion made up by a science fiction writer, I'd, I'd become a Jedi. <sighs> no. Don't. Well, you showed her. I mean, oh, that was no, good. No, do not change what? the subject. What? So did you steal it? No, it was an accident. Look, Gillian come out of the feed bag. He got in his car and went down to his office building. I followed him. And when you went inside, I got out to check out his ride. Because he's got one of them VW Bugs that's chopped up to look like a Rolls Royce. And on the front was this big old foot as a hood ornament. Oh, it's great. You stole it. Ellen. Ow! Why would you do that? I've done it for Graham's. She is such a fan of Gilliam's Island, and I know it tickle her pink to reach up onto that doodad shelf and feel her that big old foot. Because Grant is blind, you know. Okay, look, there is no such thing as Gilliam's Island, you imbecile. It's Gilligan's Island, and Terry Gilliam was not in it. Sticks and stones, Linnea. Shut up. <sighs> look, she's already got Mickey Rooney's flip flop. She'll need anything else. She does so. Look, when I seen this foot hold on it, I know that it was meant for her. And you just took it? No, it was an accident. No, it's not an accident, honey. It's stealing. Stealing is something you do on purpose. I didn't do it on purpose. That makes it an accident. Just give it back. No. Do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? How did he even find you? I left a note on his car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, uh, so you stole the foot or hood ornament thing off Terry Gilliam's car. Uh -huh. And then you left him a note telling him where to find you. Then, Aunt, were you raised in a bar? If you get in an accident with somebody's car and they ain't there, you have to leave a note. I'm gonna kick your ass. No! Ow. Wait a minute. A VW chop to look like a Rolls? Uh huh. What color is it? It's red with orange flames on the side. Oh, God, let's see. He's watching the house. <laughs> Terry Gilliam, fool. Oh, he's got binoculars. Why are we whispering? I don't know. You are in deep 
doo-doo. He's got his cell phone. He's calling somebody. You don't think it's the police, do you? You better hope not. Jesus, scary. This is Gilliam again, Elvin. I'm losing patience with this. You know where to return the hood ornament, don't you? So bring it back now, and no one gets hurt. Elvin, I know where you live. He's gone. You have got to give that thing back. No! He's just gonna have to stalk her because I ain't scared. He ain't gonna stalk her, you. He's just gonna have you put in jail. That is not what he said, Annette. You talked to him? Yeah. When? The first time he called, he said, I'm gonna get you, Elvin, and your little cousins, too. He's after us now, too? Ow! No, Lynette! Just you. Daphne's off to Nashville. Where have you been? Lynette, uh, listen to me. He told me that he's gonna take care of my cousins. Now, you know Daphne's been wanting a sugar daddy for years. Thought he's just obliging her, you know, killing two turds with one stone, so to speak. Not that kind of taken care of. You know what? No. I don't want to have anything to do with this. Hey, whatever happened to all, oh, I like being stuck with you, Elvin. So what is it? A note from him. And he stuck to the door with this. Lynette, it will be in your best interest to convince Elvin to return my property soon. I'll be watching Terry Gilliam. What are we going to do? Juicy fruit. Focus, Elvin. Well, the only thing we can do now, we'll have to join the Witless Protection Program. What the hell is Yo, that? Yo, hear me out. Mike and I have been running from things like this for years. Here's what we're going to do. All you're doing is... Okay, technicality, how about this thing? Okay, that's good. It's good, huh? Yeah. We're gonna shout ham. Psst, Gertruda! Come on, hurry up, behind me! Psst, Gertruda, hur Gertruda! Hello? Oh, me? Who else should I be talking to? Well, I am sorry, Elvin, I'm not used to being called Gertruda. What is the use of having a witless protection program name if you ain't gonna answer to it? And don't call me Elvin, it's Brock. Brock Steed. Ugh. Come on, follow me. Uh, no, I'm not following you. I am the commander. We did rock, paper, scissors. I chose gun, you chose Q-tip, so that makes me commander. I did not choose Q-tip. I was cleaning my ears at the time. I chose rock after you cheated. I did not cheat. <sighs> you, well, it's not called gun, scissors, Q-tips, Gertruda. Fine then, you big baby. Go on and leave, but I'm not standing behind this tree all day. God, I wish Gilliam would just go back to England or something. I'm tired of running from him. I know, right, Brock? You think you got better things to do. Head down. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Hey, Splinter, hold still. Ow! Lynette! Splinter won't let me put this bag on her head, and you know if Gillian finds us, it's gonna be all her fault. Okay, I told you, her name is not Splinter, it's Putty. And if you do not leave her alone, you are gonna be sorry. I'm not talking names with you again. Splendor! Come to Brock. Hey, host. Ow! Told you. God. Okay. Hello, handsome. Uh, ready for the day. Brock, are you home? It's me, Gertruda. Of course I'm home. You saw me come in here. Well, I need to talk to you. I, I can't take this anymore. I'm losing it. Look, he left another note. He did work. In my room. Hold on. Bert, I gotta run because <clears throat> Captain Chaos is striked again. 
Yes, Gilliam. Yeah, well, consider it a done deal, okay? All right. Bye. All right, Brock, you know my name. This has gone on long enough. That hood ornament is irreplaceable. My grandmother gave it to me. Return it now or I'll be your worst nightmare. T.G. T.G.? Terry Gilliam? Uh, yeah. He's already my worst nightmare. I can't live like this anymore. I do not want to go through the rest of my life with a bag on my head. I can't eat without making a mess. I can't get a date. I can't take it anymore. I am not an animal. I'm a woman. Hey, right, come on, Lynette. Don't be going all bat so crazy on me. Come on now. Elvin has got this one. Your name's not Elvin. It's Brock. Not no more, eh? Look, I got a solution to our problem. Look, my friend Burn, he's a little heavy in the pockets, you know? He just bought himself this big new house, and he don't want to sell his old house now because he can't get what it's worth. He said that we can move in there and be the caretakers, and it's like 15 miles from here, Gilliam will never find us there. You promise? No more notes? No more bags? No more notes, no more bags. Now come on, let's get packing. The sooner we're out of here. Stay down. Do you remember? Uh, follow me. Where the hell have you been? You cannot just wander off like that. I'm not gonna do all this work by myself. Jerry Gilliam's house. Oh, hell no. Oh, mm -mm 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 -mm. no. You don't, Why? You don't need that anymore. Well, you might want to keep it. But I returned the hood ornament. You did? Yeah. Well, you know what was that last note that he that he wrote? The one about how his grandma gave it to him? Mm -hmm. You know, I started to think, what if somebody borrowed something that grandma gave me? Now, the grants would give me nothing, but mm -hmm. if she did, so I just thought I better give it back. That was real sweet. So was he happy? No, he wasn't there, but his daughter was. <laughs> She's a pretty little thing. Okay, you're creepy. That's exactly what she said. Same words. It's Terry here. I got the hood 